All right. Is this giving you a problem? Well, if it is, I'm going to show you how to fix it with your motor out of the water. We got a woodpecker in the background. All right, so what I want to explain is in this video is that I was getting the four beeps coming on on the on the boat for four beeps uh, meaning oil low oil and this guy here my reservoir tank it was about a little more than halfway filled and it wouldn't fill up so you know I had oil in it I topped it off you know I had the oil filled and for some reason I wasn't filling this guy up but uh, I'm gonna explain to you how I did it uh, with being out of the water. I'm just gonna show you this uh, in this video and hopefully this helps you. So what I had to do was I had to drain my box and I'll show you in the video. I, I can't clean it out completely and you want a good cleaner uh, just use any like a type of car cleaner drain all that oil out you, if you just put new oil in it you can uh, strain it and what I use I use these paint strainers these here so I just use the paint strainers I put a funnel on there and I put the strainer in there just like that with whatever oil I had in there because I just bought brand new oil you know because I you know thought that was one of the problems because it was low but it wasn't that low so <clears throat> i cleaned the tank out i used the uh a funnel to put the oil back in but i put a paint strainer in the funnel and then poured all that oil back in there okay so i just wanted to explain you know you, you got to do that because you'll get uh you know some sludge in there if it's like uh an old tank you know it's a 2005 boat and that motor's got a thousand hours on it and I've never cleaned it you know I've never cleaned that out so that's uh, what what I did you know I just drained it I saved the oil because the oil was brand new but there was still some residual oil on the very bottom of it that was uh, old oil that just was just accumulating on the bottom with our climate it's very hot and then it's cold right away so that can create a lot of uh, you know you know coagulating um, the oil will basically get thick you know and you want to be able to get that out of there you know so I've got clean oil all in my system now you know, it was brand new oil, but there was just that little bit of uh, sludge that was sitting on the bottom of where, where the strainer was.
So I've already done this to the engine, but I'm going to show you as much as I can to show you what I did. And uh, since it's already operating correctly, I already had it on three trips. Um, already uh, ran it pretty good uh, just to make sure that everything's working right, and it does. Uh, so, so here's what, uh, what we're going to need. Um, I'm going to show you with a bottle just this bottle here <clears throat> the antifreeze bottle um, and show you how it operates with your motor so what happens is you have two lines going into your motor this one comes from the crankcase the one with the blue line and then this one goes to your oil reservoir that, the, that guy right there so what was happening is that this strainer in here was clogged so and the reason why it was clogged was because of the oil that was in here I had uh, oil sludge on the bottom of it so that sludge was on the pickup I'll, I'll put a picture in there so you can see <clears throat> or a video of uh, how that was restricting the flow But I'll show you what I did to correct it. And so what you do is you're going to just cut this line right here. And you're going to have a little holes left over like this. And you don't want to, um, you know, have a, a crooked line or anything like that when you come back. You know, you want it as straight as possible. And then you're going to need these zip ties. This is the part number. That's the part number there. So you're gonna need these zip ties, not the regular zip ties that you buy at, you know, like a, a box store. These zip ties have the curl on the end and what they do, they wrap. See how that wraps around there? So that's what you want. Um, otherwise, it's gonna be pinching uh, the hose on there. All right, so. So what I did was, I took my tank out, I took this guy out, the pickup, I uh, removed it itself, and I looked inside there and it was clogged with like gook. And in the next video you'll see what, uh, what that looked like. And so I had to take this out, I had to clean it out completely, you'll see in the video. <coughs> and you gotta have one of these. And then there's my compressor right there. This is a small compressor. And you're going to take this line off and you're going to put this one on just where you cut it. And you're going to put that on there. Now, this is all after you clean it out, you put the new oil in. Now, my new oil is in, my screen is clean, and my top seals are clean as well up here. The seal is clean and this one's clean and I replaced the seals and I got two of them more these are the seals that go in your box in the, in the oil box these two here they go in here so I replaced them already I have two backups I always buy everything in two so once you uh, put the new fluid in, or the new oil in here, this is clean, this is clean, new gaskets, everything. Now I only have these two on here, right? Just like that. So what you're gonna do is disconnect this one, put your short one on, leave this one on. Remember, this one goes to your tank. You're gonna open that little valve the little cap right here you're gonna open that cap and you're just gonna very gently blow air into the into here into this line right here 
just like that okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pressurize it and once you pressurize it it's gonna push all that fluid down into the pickup and it's gonna come out of here and it's gonna fill up go through your line and it's gonna fill up your tank right now my tank is full <clears throat> So I can't do it on camera. So I'm showing, just showing you what I did. All right. So here's how this basically works. So this is, say this is my oil tank and it's got oil in it. And there's a hole right here. This goes to my tank, my reservoir tank, the small one and the lid is open so i want to put the air through this one here through that line that i just showed you and i'm going to blow it up see how that's blowing up that's the same thing you're doing with your oil tank so when you blow that up just like that very gently it's going to lift and push push down on the oil the oil is going to go take the path of least resistance and it's going to go through your pickup tube and out to your oil tank your reservoir with the cap open and you're just going to let it go <clears throat> let it fill up like that and wait and you'll start seeing it move into the reservoir tank you do it again and it'll start filling up so it gets to right to the top just like that so once it fills up you cap it you, you cap put your cap on your reservoir this small one there right there so you're gonna cap that and then you're gonna put the new line this line back on here and put the new zip ties on it okay so right there so you want to make sure that just snip off the end just like I did with this one because or, uh, this one here this is the one here and it was leaking through here as well so I just cut this got a new clean cut put that right on there put the zip ties on there the correct zip ties and then once that filled up I had clean and everything in here and it was off through the oil was up I just pushed this on, zip tied it, I had that cap closed already, and that's filled. So, <clears throat> and what you want to do is, you want to get a flashlight, and the flashlight will show you where your fluid's at, see, it's up to the top, if you can see that, alright? my fluids like right there my oil is right there so that fills up and then once you start your motor it goes right through your oil system All right So I don't want to sound redundant or anything like that and keep on like, you know, over and over again. But what I want <clears throat> just to explain to you is that this gets pressure. This tank has to have pressure in it and you don't want anything leaking on it. Everything has to be sealed. You know, um, you're going to get a little bit of leak from somewhere here, but you don't want it caking out or anything like that. So what happens is when you start your engine from your crankcase that line goes through all the way into your box oil box right here and the pressure it's pumping air in here so it's pushing down on your oil goes through your pickup through the bottom the screen pickup comes out of here and that's what comes out and goes into your box i hope that explains how uh, the system works 
you need good uh, a good engine my engine has a thousand hours on it this guy's been running great I love this engine I've been trying to keep it as long as I can and uh, I just post videos of uh, you know if this helps somebody if you like it share it if this helps somebody you know four beeps um, this was my problem and uh, hopefully this helps you all right thanks for watching if you got any questions let me know have fun and be safe on the water